Ah, yep. Look at that sunrise. That means it's gonna be a good day. If the sun is coming back up, you know it's gonna be a good day. What are we gonna get up to today? Who knows? Wiener, you're in charge, okay? You make the schedule. No comment? It's an honor to make the schedule for the day. You don't care? He doesn't even, he won't even say anything. Hey, maybe it's too early. Hey, sir, we woke up a little earlier than we have been lately. I wanted to get a full day in today. I used to hate waking up in the mornings, but recently I've been excited to get up. Maybe just to see what comes next. It's an exciting transition part of life. But I've always enjoyed mornings. Like once I'm up, showered, outside like this, just watching the sunrise. It's a lot better for me than the sunset. I've, I've never been a sunset kind of guy because that means the day's over. That's no fun. You gotta go to bed soon. I like watching the sun come up because then you have the hope and uh, the expectation of the entire day to come yet. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know, I'm just a big kid, I guess. That's okay, too. You gotta enjoy this life. You only get one. You know, it's your fault I have to do this every day. You too, man. Life with dogs. I need to train you how to do this. Clean up your own hair. We're at it again. Except this time, we're at Superstore, not Walmart. Picking up groceries for my mom. So because my grandpa tested positive for COVID, and my mom was his caregiver right up to the point where he went to the hospital. Mom is on isolation right now. She's almost done. I think she has one more day. Tomorrow is her last day. I think Saturday is her last day. So uh, she has no symptoms, which is good. Looks like she's in the clear. Uh, Grandpa is looking all right. He's stable. He's improving slowly, uh, slower than we'd like him to, but he is almost 90 years old and uh, it is to be expected his body will take a little longer fighting off uh, this corona. So it looks like he's going to pull through it. It's just taking him a little while. But he's doing good. I mean, he's, uh, he's like I said, stable, eating a little bit. They would like him to eat a little bit more. But uh, the update on Grandpa is that it looks like he's, he's going to pull through. We just need to give him some time. Uh, he's still at the hospital. 
So because mom is in isolation for one more day, she needs some food, she needs some groceries. So she made an online order here at Superstore. It's like Canadian Walmart. And I came here, I'm in the, uh, the contactless pickup. So they bring the groceries out, they'll put it in the back for me. And then I bring them to mom, I leave them outside and then go and then she gets them and brings them inside. That's how this whole process, isn't this kind of crazy though? It's the world right now. I can't do anything to change it. I try not to complain about it, but some days it's hard. So we're trying to find out from the hospital if we're allowed to bring grandpa a Christmas card or not. I think he could use a little bit of cheering up, a little bit of Christmas cheer. We delivered just a few of them yesterday to people's doorsteps. It would be really nice to be able to bring grandpa a Christmas card so that he has some friendly faces to look at while he's there in the hospital all by himself. We're waiting to hear from the nurses today. Mom's gonna talk to them later and ask if we can bring them that. I mean, if not, I guess I can understand. They're trying to, uh, if, they, if they want to keep out all outside stuff. But I, I personally think it should be okay. But once again, I'm not a doctor. So we'll see, hopefully we can bring him one. If not, I hope he can be out for Christmas. That's our big hope. You know, the one thing that grandpa looks forward to every year and that we all look forward to every year is our Christmas gathering. That's when the whole family gets to see each other all at once. The one time a year when grandpa gets to see everybody and have his whole family under one roof. And it, it looks like this year is probably not going to happen. When you start messing with my Christmas, I start to get a little bit more grumpy. <laughs> Don't mess with Christmas. But going back to what I said before, I don't have any power to change it. I don't. I think it's a little heavy handed. Honestly, my personal opinion on all of these lockdowns, I understand them from at the beginning. Our emergency room was full here in, in town. Hospital was full. But the reports have now said that the emergency room has slowed down and it's pretty much dead now because they've caught up like we've allowed our hospital to catch up. That was the whole point. So it looks like we're achieving our goal of the of these lockdowns. So now what I'm kind of nervous about is as we're nearing the end of these four weeks, are they going to extend it unnecessarily? Or are they going to be like, all right, Manitoba, awesome. You did a good job. We achieved our goals. Let's enjoy Christmas in a safe way so that we don't have another surge, right? Let's, let's just enjoy Christmas. Go and hang out with your family. Have a good time. Be careful. Merry Christmas. That's what I'm hoping for. But, you know, if they if we get to the end of these four weeks and they're like, you know what? Nope, no Christmas for you. Well, let's lock down for another three months for no reason. You had me on your side when the hospital was full and the emergency room was busy. But, like I said, that's, that's just the way I personally feel. I mean, doesn't really mean much. But maybe others feel the same way but you know so now I'm just waiting waiting for the groceries Britt went in to get some groceries for us while we're here uh, so she's getting groceries for us they're gonna bring out mom's groceries here and we're gonna keep them separate so we don't get them all mixed up when we go to mom's so Britt should be back soon uh, it, it takes a little while for them to bring out your groceries they're a little bit backed up there's a lot of people ordering groceries online because they don't want to go inside well, a very nice lady brought all the groceries, put it in the back for me. Now I'm waiting for Britt to come out with our groceries. I had to move because I can't stay in those reserved parking spots. So I'm in the loading zone to pick her up. She's supposed to be here right away. Hopefully she doesn't take too long because then I become that guy parked in the loading zone for too long. Okay, so apparently that over there is the curbside pickup. And I'm not doing any curbside picking upping. So I found a good spot. Somebody left here. I'm right out in the front. Right here. She'll be coming out of those doors right over there. Hopefully I'll spot her before she goes and looks for me on the other side of the parking lot over there. Because that's where I was parked. Now we're over here. I hope she doesn't spend a long time looking for me. I sent her a message on her phone. I hope she checks her phone before she goes outside. So she didn't find me. I told her that I was at the curb, which is right there. there. He wasn't at the curb. I wasn't at the curb. I moved to here, which is close to the curb. And I didn't send her another message saying that I was just here. I thought that I'd be able to see her when she came out. 
got my steps in for the day. She's gonna be walking all over the parking lot looking for me. My bad, I should have told you that I was close by. I just, uh, I kind of figured that if you didn't see me there, you'd message me, but. Oh, my hands were frozen. My hands were frozen. I forgot gloves. Well, guys, when your wife is in the store and you're picking her up, make sure you're very specific about where you parked. And this whole one person per household thing mustn't be a law because everybody and their roommate and teenage child that could have stayed home alone was in there together. I noticed that before when, when I've gone in there before too, that families are all shopping together still. And I'm pretty sure that it was only one person per household that's supposed to be going there. I think that's a little silly too. I mean, if you're in the same household, as long as you stick together, but they're trying to keep the numbers down inside the store. I don't know what's going on. But that's the problem. When you bring your kids, your kids tend to wander everywhere. Cause, yeah, I mean, wander everywhere, touch everything. I don't blame them. Pick, it, pick stuff up, put it back down, put stuff in their mouths or put their hands in their mouths and touch something and then yeah. put their hands in their mouths again. Exactly. It's just, I don't know what's going on. Leave your kids at home if you can. If you can, I'm not saying yeah. everyone can. A lot of people are single parents or they have a trucking husband or wife and so they have to bring them with them. They're not old enough to stay home alone. Oh. If you can, please leave them at home. I don't think anybody knows what's going on. Nope. Everything that you think, well, everything that they say is a law, nobody listens to. Oh, there were like 10 people in there I saw <laughs> not covering their nose. So we've got our groceries. We've got the wife. It's me. Now to make the delivery. I'm sure mom is looking forward to uh, her last day of isolation tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably. And dad's already uh, back close to home here. He ran out of hours close to the border, but he's within an hour of home. And so as soon as the clock strikes midnight, tomorrow night, or would it be the next day in the morning? Sunday morning at 12 o'clock a.m. Tomorrow night, dad can come home. Maybe he'll stay home for a while. Maybe. And then our elfly duties are over. Mm -hmm. For a little while anyways. Yeah, then he can... Well, they can both run out then. Yeah. Not that I'm complaining. I don't mind being elf-like. It's something to do, something to get out of the house. Yeah. Makes us feel useful. That's the way to set posts. There All you right. go. That'll work. There oh, it boy. is. Mom's hall. Not that much, actually. Looks like fruits mostly, yeah. I figured. How does she eat that many bananas before they go bad? There's a lot of bananas. There's more in there. What? There's a lot of bananas. Is she donating bananas this Christmas? <laughs> All right. She likes bananas. Let's do it. A lot of bananas. Mostly bananas. I'm wondering if they're the opposite of Walmart. And when you choose one, it means a bunch. Whereas at Walmart, it means one banana. <laughs> Just put them right here for her. Ring the doorbell. So many bananas. Got your bananas. You Hi. have a lifetime supply of bananas. You got like one, two. This is all bananas. That's all bananas. Last time I ordered, they just gave me one. So I think I said six. They give you six bunches. <laughs> so a heads up, if you order bananas from Walmart, it's by the banana. If you order bananas from Superstore, it's by the bundle. Mom got six bundles. Because <laughs> remember we picked up groceries last week for Tanya and she got one banana and she wanted one bundle. Well, mom thought that she would outsmart them now, okay, and say, okay, I want more than just one banana. I want however many, like six? Six, six bananas. So she put six. Superstore goes by the bundle, so they gave her six bundles of bananas. You'd think that they'd clarify that in the order, like if that's been an issue. They've probably been getting lots of calls about it. That's a lot of bananas. That's a lot of bananas. She's gonna need help. <laughs> She's gonna turn into those. a monkey. They're gonna need to lower these lockdowns so we can come here and help her eat all those bananas. <laughs> uh, well, it's nice to even to at least see her through the window in the door. She's still alive, so that's that's great. That's yeah. what we wanted to see. Well, and she doesn't have any symptoms. No. Like I was saying, uh, 
None at all, which is awesome because she was right in close proximity with Grandpa. And Grandpa's doing good too. I was telling him about Grandpa before too. There, he's just improving a little slower than they want him to. But right. he's he's stable. He's not getting worse. He's just stable. Very slowly getting better. Still at the hospital. I know it's daytime right now, but closer to Christmas, maybe like the day, maybe right around Christmas week sometime, I'm hoping we can go out and see everyone's Christmas lights and show you all the best ones. See who's got the most Christmas spirit. That guy's got a palm tree outside his house. I like it. This town is growing like crazy too. I want this fifth wheel. It almost looks like this guy's load is just gonna slide right off. That whole trailer's got rollers on it. It's a little scary. He's got it belly wrapped and tied down pretty tight by the looks of it, but <laughs> I'd still be a little nervous putting that on a on those rollers with it with, with the incline like that or decline towards the back. Fancy truck. Nice truck. No, you stay home. Stay home this time. I'll just be a little bit. The wife mobile. So I have to go pick up some paperwork for Britt. Uh, because of the lockdown now, her work, uh, like we've been talking about, has shut down uh, just temporarily. Uh, so she needs some paperwork regarding that to send in to the big man in Ottawa. The government wants to know what we're up to. Starting to see more and more lights show up, but still a lot of people who are a little bit... Bah humbug. Not enough Christmas lights. We need more. We need lots more. You know one thing I've noticed being at home every day? I always think I can get a whole lot more done in a day than I can actually get done. Days go by quick. Like I have all these plans when I get home. Like, oh, I'm gonna get this done, get this done, get this done, get this done. You know, you turn around, you have breakfast. You close your eyes, you open them. Sun's going down. Well, Frank, Sergeant, and Weasel, not every day can be super uber duber exciting, but uh, we had to get that stuff done. Uh, my mom, I'm sure, was uh, thankful for the groceries and all of the bananas. <laughs> she's got bananas for weeks now. I don't know what she's going to do with all those. They messed up her order a little bit. She didn't order that many. I think she got 36 bananas. <laughs> Something 32 or 36. But uh, today when I'm filming this is her last day of isolation. isolation. So tomorrow she is free to roam around uh, and go places. We're just not allowed to uh, visit indoors with each other yet. Another two weeks, I think. Has it been two weeks? One or two weeks. And I'm hoping that's when it will end, like I was saying before. I don't know what's all going on with this. I, I can't tell you. I can tell you my opinion and say that I'm starting to get a little frustrated, but I don't know the severity of things. I don't know all the things that... Uh, no, the professionals know. So we'll see what happens. Tomorrow we're going to run down to our spot and uh, figure it out then. But thanks for tuning in with me today. Uh, not every day can be running around, but I appreciate you being here with me today. We can use all the friends we can get these days. We'll see you tomorrow and pay attention. This weekend I will be going live. I uh, want to hang out with you guys a little bit and see how you guys are doing and how your Thanksgiving was if you're in the U.S., be great to hang out, so set your notifications down below. Turn them on so that you get a notification when I go live. And we'll see you then.